ruffled by the assassination attempt in Manila, Pope Paul was more ruffled by the wind in Sydney when he arrived for his tour of Australia. His first action was to bless the crowd of over 5,000 which welcomed him at the airport. Security precautions had obviously been tightened after the incident in the Philippines, but His Holiness delighted the crowd when he walked informally along the barrier. About 700,000 Australians turned out for Pope Paul on this first day. This small and seemingly untiring man never fails to rouse admiration from people of all religions. His message on the tour has been that Catholicism is not just a European faith, but truly universal. Back home in the Vatican, he'll no doubt be continuing his opposition to Italy's recent divorce legislation. Bigger than usual fields at Newmarket, and the prizes are bigger.